Well, there are a couple different ways to remove these keys, and I've taken probably, I think, 12 of them off already. And thought I would just show you what I think is the best way. Uh, I personally like to use just a small screwdriver, put it under the bottom edge of the key, as you can see here. And then what you're trying to do is separate the hinge from the key top. So if you think about, if you, if you picture that, and once I get the key top off, you'll be able to see this. And you don't want to force it, so you can see the, the back clip released, this back one first. Then I like to do the, the top one. And again, just take your time with it. And then the last one I like to use is back the bottom left corner. Um, I use a really dull X-Acto knife here. I would not recommend a sharp one because you're not trying to cut anything. And there's a small silicone cup that you don't want to destroy. Let me see if I can also get this camera up close for you to see. What you're trying to release is the, there are two tabs here that, and then two tabs up here. These two tabs, I believe, sit in the two square slots. So you're trying to separate the hinge from the, and this has got a lot of dirt in here, which is what, why the, I was having some issues trying to get it off. Uh, but you're trying to separate the white hinge from the key top. So if you if you picture that you're trying to get your, your wedge or your screwdriver or your, your, your screwdriver between this hinge and the key top, not under the hinge, but between the hinge, so you can pry these two away. That's probably the most significant uh, data input. You, it's probably the most important thing to understand. So that hinge actually came apart, which is very unusual. It's the first out of the 12 keys that I've done where the hinge has come apart. There's a lot of dirt under there. So let me just try to sh do this one more time and see if I, this will show up a little better. So that came off a little better, a little easier. That hinge is in, is in good shape. Uh, but again, it's important to see what you're trying to release is this little piece right here, these two, and then these are the two top ones and these are the two bottom ones. So I'm trying to release this one first, this one second, third, third one's over here, and then the fourth one's over here. Might also be a little easier using something like, um, something that's not sharp, but has the appropriate thickness. 
um, sort of like a maybe like a spudger like this because you don't want to cut the silicone cup you see right here and I'm careful with my knife but again you're trying to pry the key cap away from the, the hinge off the hinge Here's a close-up view of the back of the key top, so you can get an idea of what you're actually trying to do. So here at the bottom, you can see that those two you can see it's sort of like a U-clip, whereas the two tabs at the top are are just plastic tabs with a little catch on the inside hopefully this helps you understand what you're trying to do you're trying to pry these two u-clips off of the hinge off of the white scissors hinge clip and you're trying to pry these two out of the uh, square openings that are in the hinge.